Welcome back. We are in the second uh, resting spot along the great shaft and we have found another book leading to Jerebo. This book is slightly different than the first one because we can see that now a different island is colored in and it has the number 2 on it. On the other book this island was colored in and had the number 1 in it. So it stands to reason that the previous book led us to this island well, this book will lead us to this island. And we're in Durebo once more. No visit from Escher this time. Guess he doesn't have anything new to say about uh, this place. It's quite a nice place. I wonder if the books to the Rebo were always meant to be there as a, a refuge uh, for the people who were traveling to, into Dunny via the Great Shaft and the tunnels. Would make sense. Actually makes more sense than there being a Nexus book in the Great Shaft because the reason the Great Shaft was such a long distance away from uh, from the city is because they wanted to prevent invading uh, armies uh, from easily getting access to the city. And if there had been a Nexus book there, well, that would de defeat the purpose, I guess. Although it does look like a Nexus pedestal, so I don't, I don't know. Um, well, you can see that now we can. Uh, cross this bridge and get back to the bubble for Tegira. This basically means that if you didn't finish Tegira yet, you don't need to go back up the Great Shaft to get back to that book. You can just visit every uh, age you've already found a book for in any order. And I've had a comment that many walkthroughs actually do the whole um, great shaft and the tunnels until the end, before they actually start doing the ages. But I prefer to do it this way. It spreads the story out a little bit more naturally. And if you listen to uh, Escher's dialogue, I think it is actually the uh, intention of the game designers that you do it this way. Because he said uh, at the end of Tagira that we should go back to the tunnels and find another book. Which wouldn't make sense if we had already uh, found all the books. Okay, well, another bubble here. Leading to another age, I suppose. This time we don't have Escher to tell us what it's called, so we don't know. Ooh, looks like pretty interesting age. We can see a glimpse of it through the bubble, as always. Let's check it out. You can also see that the shape of this tablet is different than the shape of the tablet in uh, Tagira. It, however, still doesn't match the shape of the tablet drawing we saw in one of Yisha's journals. So that was yet another tablet. But I, I keep saying tablet, I mean slate. I'm, gonna, I'm guessing that's going to happen a lot during the rest of this Let's Play, me confusing the slate and the tablet. Anyway, we are in Tagira. And this is, in my opinion, the most visually interesting age in the entire game. I mean, just look at it. It is beautiful. It appears that we are um, either quite high up, or this little planet we're standing on isn't that big. Because we can actually see the curvature of the horizon from here. If you want to see the curvature of the Earth, this 
clearly you need to be very very high up and it doesn't look like we're quite that high up so we're probably on a very small planet although I think it's actually a moon and not a planet a moon of this big planet that we see over there which has rings around it like Saturn only of a different color um, This planet itself seems to have some craters. Or this moon, or whatever it is. Some craters and some rivers. And some really huge pillars. And we appear to be standing on one of those. It's a bit strange, though. I mean, this moon would have to be uh, pretty dense in order to have sufficient gravity to sustain an atmosphere. But if it has normal Earth gravity, then I don't see how these kinds of huge pillars would form. It would be interesting to learn the history of this uh, place, to see how such a thing could have come into being. Unfortunately, we won't really learn much about that. I'm sure the, uh, the Dunny who wrote this uh, had an interesting time figuring out how that could have happened. Or maybe they deliberately wrote it that way, so they already knew. I don't know. We see that some of these uh, pillars have some sort of equipment standing on it, and some that's connected to the pillar that we're on via cables. There's also another pillar over there with lights on it interesting you wonder what it's all for but since this is uh, mist 5 and not any of the other games you can bet that sh that pretty soon Escher will show up and explain it and promptly he does it's almost as if I knew that to Delmer built to study the heavens and glorious heavens you will find here I'm only sad we were never allowed to finish I've told you some of the story Yisha's great grandmother Tiarna came to us desperate for control Convincing our people to betray rules we had held for generations. And... We died. Yesha claims such death, as painful as it was, had to be done. A plan of the Maker. And that she will rebuild. She will build. I will tell you, such delusive wisdom comes from vague feelings and daydreams and the tablet you will have is far too powerful for such wisdom Todelmer enjoy the beauty of the heavens while you consider the power that can control them Okay, so now we know what this age is called. Apparently it's called to Delmer. And it was built to study the heavens. That makes sense why they uh, wrote this place to have uh, these high pillars, because... This way we're already... Uh, above most of the atmosphere, giving us a much clearer view of the sky. You wonder though if this sky is the same universe that you can see from Earth, because different ages are not just different planets, they're different realities, so it might just be a completely different universe. Or even if it is in the same universe, it could be in a completely different galaxy. So you wonder what they were intending to learn from studying the sky here. I don't know.
Asher is also referring to uh, the fall of Dani, which is of course described in the Book of Tiana. And if you've read that, you know that the situation uh, is a lot more complex than he made it out to be. Anyway, um, we'll look around in here in the next video.